donations to fungi. And today I'm back with, of course, another coin related topic. Today I got a couple things I want to show you. Let's see if I can move my camera up a little bit. I want to show you my Lincoln scents and all the ones that I have. And first things first, my Lincoln scents. Being that my camera is essentially a mirror, this is 1909 through 1920, and then as you can see, I have more 1935 through 1950. I'm not going to show you every each and every one of these finds here, but I will show you some of the highlight finds. I definitely have a. I've gone through these a million times already. This is a pretty cool yarn head. Oh shoot. This is a 1964 yarn head. Got a couple of tooth quarters, a couple of 2009s, several wheat pennies because I've done most of the penny boxes. I want to show you in the. I've been coin hunting. I've been in the coins since, oh, I'd say the summer of 2019. And my first, the very first, first coin roll box that I did was last summer. And here's my favorite find of all time. You see that? Let's see if I can focus the camera. That says school money. This is a fake penny I found in a real penny box. On the back, it looks just like it looks just like a penny. And on the front it says school money, it has Lincoln's bust of liberty, but no year. I found this in one of my first coin roll hunts, and it is my favorite coin that I have found. Somebody put a fake coin in a penny box and must have not realized it, which I find is the most hilarious thing that I have ever seen. Here, it's a penny, I can't, I don't know what kind of penny it is on the back, it's copper, definitely, but on the front, somebody put nail polish on it to make it look like a tiger. It was freshly, it looked freshly painted, but some nail polish was scraped off because it's been in the bag. I have a couple of uh, coins that got paint on them. This coin has a little bit of paint on it. It's another penny. Another just regular copper penny. No value except for the uh, artist's rendition. Have a Canadian, Canadian dime. I don't live in Canada, so if I find Canadian dimes, they are spectacular and I keep them. Same with uh, Canadian five cent pieces. Okay, I don't see anything else here. There was another paint coin that I wanted to show you, but I can't seem to find it at the moment. Oh, this. I don't know why I have this quarter. It's a 1968 Washington quarter. Quarters, the, the very end of the silver quarter is 1964. And actually, I want to show you some more finds that I found. Where is it? Oh, the certain box that I'm looking for, I can't find at the moment, but I'll show you, I'll clean these up here and show you my other, next up, these are coins that I have found in the wild, aka not coin roll hunting. If I, let's see what coins I can show you here. Dump them out, oh, coin. Half a dollar. 50 cent coin with Kennedy on it. 
It's 1986. It's not silver. Nothing special. But I think it's pretty cool because I knew about half dollars way before I did coin collecting. Cute little story. My grandma was the manager of a uh, store. And whenever she would come across half dollar and Ike dollars with my mom and aunt's birthdays on them, she'd always give them to them. So that's how I know about half dollars and silver Ike dollars. Okay. This, this coin here is the last American coin I'm going to show you from my wild finds because they're all pretty common American dates. Here's the front. Here's the back. This thing got sent into high heaven, and it looks like somebody tried to expose the, uh, the zinc plate that it's on. I don't know why, but it's, it was their prerogative, and they went, wound up uh, losing it to me anyway, but I found it in a corner hunt. And yes, I said corner hunt. That's the only thing I put in my wild bag that I found in a coin round. But you get me commenters, but you get. These are some uh, Mexican coins. My favorite one is this uh, 10 peso coin. My laptop camera quality is not the best. But. At least I can give you some detail on it. It says Diaz Pesos. And I also have 5 Pesos. 5 Peso. 2 Peso. And the one that I dropped was a 1 Peso. It's kind of like, about, it's kind of like our uh, dollar bills in America. You got the $1 bill, the $2 bill, the $5 bill, and the $10 bill. It's pretty cool. This is a Canadian $2 coin. It looks like the Canadian peso. The, not the Canadian, the Mexican peso, but it's not. Here, my grandma and aunt put on a European cruise, and they went to London was the first stop, the uh, first stop, and this is a five pence piece from her. Let's see what else there is. A couple Canadian quarters. Nice 1968. A 50 cent. Let's see what this is. 50 cent piece from Mexico. It's uh, 50 cent pesos. Now, I don't know what the uh, cent coin is called in uh, Mexico, but it's the 50 cent piece. <coughs> Next up, I'm going to move on to my silver finds. And here, I have, this is a 1939 silver Jefferson nickel. It's the very, uh, thick, it's not the first year, I'm, I, uh, Recently did the history on nickels, so you think I wouldn't remember this, but I think in 1938 is the first year of the Jefferson nickel. And I have a 1939, which silver. Speaking of Jefferson nickels, while well, I'm at it, I have a few more nickels. This is a 1945 Philadelphia war nickel. You can tell it's a war nickel. Because it has the mint mark on top of the Monticello. Got this quarter. What is this quarter even doing in here? I don't even know what this quarter is doing in my silver. It's a not a silver quarter. That goes in my spare change. Just put that there. I have, this is not a, this is another silver nickel, but it's not war. I have another Philadelphia war nickel. You can see the, 
It may look like a blob, but that blob is Philadelphia on top of the Monticello. And another nickel that's not a worn nickel, but I'm not even sure if it's silver. It's 1958. I don't think there was silver at that time. But and all my Jefferson nickels that I think are silver are staying in here. And I have quite a few of them. Let's see if I have any more worn nickels. No, I don't. The nickel before the Jefferson nickel was the Buffalo nickel. I have a few Buffalo nickels. This is a 37 Buffalo nickel. This is another 37 Buffalo nickel. I like the uh, dark undertone because you can see the year much better on this Buffalo nickel. It says 1937. And Buffalo Nickels are some of my personal favorite designs, but they have the flaws, aka the uh, year rubs off very easily. And this is a Buffalo Nickel from 1921. You can barely see the year on it. But uh, I think this is a Buffalo Nickel that I, uh, I didn't find it, but a friend of mine found it when we were in the hunting, and he uh, put vinegar on, on the... Uh, down by the ear to see what it was. I have several V nickels. They're V or Liberty head nickels, and you can tell because of the V on the back of them. Let's see if I can uh, show you the V on the back of them here. It's the V. I have several V nickels. This one says 1912. 1912, this one is from 1910, this nickel is from 19, 1906, this one is from 1911. This is a steel scent. It's not silver, but it looks silver, but this is a steel scent, a 43 steel scent, the only year they made them. Is there a mint mark on this? No, there is not. So that's going back. This is... This, is this dime even a proof? No, it's a 2015 Philadelphia dime. I have no idea what it's doing to my silver. If it was a proof dime, it would be in there. And speaking of silver dimes, I have a lot of Merc dimes. And these Mercury dimes are... I'm not going to show you these Mercury Dimes, because the silver I have in here are mostly Mercury Dimes, and they are way more impressive than these Mercury Dimes. And here are the more impressive Mercury Dimes that I was telling you about. Let's empty this and show you exactly what I think. This one is, this one's cool. This is hold. You can see the hole on top of the uh, dime there. That's hold. And another one I have that's cool is a clipped planchet. This is a clipped planchet. Those are two, vi those are two of my personal favorites. I have several proof dimes in here. This proof dime is just look at how shiny that is. I got several proofs like that, that are very, very shiny. This proof has seen better days. Just some awfully shiny silver dimes. And the, the, ro the rosies that I have are some of the shiniest dimes that I got. They're, they're even shinier than brand spanking new 2021 dimes. This dime here is a 1961 young head Canadian. Let's take a look at some of the Mercuries that I have here. This one is from 1941. This one is 1940 something or other. This one is another um, I have a light 
this one, 43, a lot of common 40 dates I have. This one's 19, 1936. This is the oldest dime that I've, this is the oldest dime that I uh, showed you so far. Oh shoot, I've dropped a couple of them. This one's 1936. This dime, it's very faded. 1928. This one is another 45 and then this is my favorite mercury dime that I have it is faded to almost beyond recognition same at the back you can you can see it's a little better in the back but you can tell where the rim faded this mercury dime is from 1918 1919 this is an over 100 year old dime this dime is older than my Older than me, my siblings, my parents, my grandparents, and one, no, two of my great grandparents. Next, the, uh, the next coins that I have on the list are my oddity coins. These are I've bought several coins that I'm going to show you in the future, but these are coins that I've either bought off an auction or I've been given. This coin is a misprint. This was a this was going to be a penny. See a little misprint there. One of my uh, coins that I've always wanted to get was a blank planchet, but this is this off center coin that's like. 90 to 95 percent off center. I couldn't have asked for a better coin. The next coins I have in these flaps. This one that I could probably get graded as MS60, MS70 even. A 2019 W quarter. You can see it's a my Chemex is a mirror, but that says 2019 W. A misprint that, that my friend gave to me that's, it is almost a blank planchet. It is 99.9% .9 off center. A 1912 Liberty Head or V nickel. My first silver quarter, it's a 1964 D silver quarter. A 1927 Buffalo Nickel. This is a 2000 penny with a wide AM. A 1943 steel cent. It says it was World War II issued, but all steel cents were World War II issued, so I just see that as uh, just, uh, up, just trying to upsell it. And the oldest coin, an 1848 seated half dime. It's got an S print mark on it. And I'm thinking those were the more common ones. I'd have to look up the uh, prices of the seated half dimes. I'm pretty sure all these coin guides have, uh, have all that figured out. So I think I'll look that up when I'm uh, done here. But if you know it off the top of your head, let me know down below. Well, those are the finds that I decided to show you today. I have way more coins in my coin collection, and if you want to see those coins, let me know down below. My name is Just a Fun Guy. This is Just a Fun Guy Coins. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell icon, do all that good stuff. Until next time, I'm signing off. So long, YouTube.